YouTube, what is up? We are back today with some more no money spent here on MLB The Show 23, and we are finally going to do it today. We are completing the NL collection. We have been trying to do this for weeks now. I think we're finally at a point where we can get it done. I'm pretty sure I've got every card I need. Hopefully, there ain't somebody, one of these freaking new cards that have come in that we still got to go buy. But we should be there today. So this is going to be our catch-up episode. We're going to kind of go over what we're doing right now in the show how we're attacking Team Affinity here. We're kind of doing the same thing we did for uh, Team Affinity Season 1. Although I think this year, I'm gonna, or this season, I'm going to mix up a little something here and try something else. Just see if it works a little quicker. I don't know if it will or not, but I kind of want to try it. Just test my own theory on it. And then we've also got some packs we need to open as well. We'll, we'll do that before we complete the collections, just in case maybe we get somebody. You know, we'll do that after we complete the collections. I got everybody I need for the NL. We'll save the packs for the end of the video. So we got a lot of content that dropped here in season number two, and I'm a couple of days behind getting it done with the work schedule and everything. So we are hammering it out today. We've been working pretty hard since about 6 a.m. this morning, really grinding out some of this stuff here. So the Kaiju series is kind of what we're lacking as far as programs right now. We talked about in the last video, a little over 50% done with this one. I think 50% was good. Yeah, it goes to 100. So we're making our way in this one right here. We've already done the event stuff with that. We got the uh, the five points of that missions we are working on now. We're going to mix some of these guys in with the uh, the conquest squad. We're going to kind of double dip a little bit. We're going to have some team affinity guys plus the uh, Kaiju series guys in here to see if we can knock some of that out. All the moments are done. We always do moments first. Showdown is done. I have gone through today and I am telling you, I think my eyes are going to bleed with the amount of showdowns we have done. And that damn team affinity East showdown took me, I swear to you, two hours. That was the worst showdown experience I think I've ever had. Nestor Cortez was absolutely owning the shit out of me. I couldn't do nothing about it. And then we still got the conquest we got to do here for the Kaiju series as well. Like I said, I'm saving all the conquests for the end, especially once I get all the uh, team affinity guys unlocked, you know, early. And then we're going to use all the conquests to run through the missions for both them and the Kaiju series players. Tops now stuff we are officially done with. We're caught up on that weekly wonders. We get that done as well. So Kaiju's all we're lacking at the program stuff here for team affinity too. All right. So we're at 18% on everything right now that is doing all the moments for each division and doing the showdowns for each one. So the moments, like I said, only five of them in each category doesn't take very long to do that. This is the way I always approach Team Affinity. So if if you're looking for a strategy to use, feel free to try to use this one. It's worked for me. We were able to get the first one done. Took a while, but I mean, we were able to get it done in what I felt like was a decent amount of time. I know there's a lot of people out there who still haven't even finished Team Affinity uh, season one yet. So what we do is we go and we knock out the moments first. We get our first pack from that. So after you finish the five moments for each division, you're going to get the first future stars pack for all those. You're going to that's a one player each. You're going to get those guys. You're going to use those. You're going to have the XP or the uh, PXP missions with them. So to be in the future star stuff right here, you got five players per division for the future stars. That's 3,500 team affinity points for every one of these you finished. And then once you're finished with the moments, go down and do the showdowns. Knock those out. That is 20,000 team affinity points right there, which is going to get you to where we're at right now. So after you finish that, you'll have the future stars pack done. You'll have your first captain's pack done as well. And you're going to be really close to your second future star for each division. So that'll give you a nice head start on guys you can work with on the conquest grind. Like I said, do that for each division and then load your teams up with all those players that you need. Like I said, we're going to be doing a mixture of the Kaiju series plus the Team Affinity guy. So it might take us a little bit longer this time around because I want to try to knock both of them out at the same time. So this is kind of what your grind team is going to look like here when you get ready to do the all the conquest stuff. So you see, we've got a couple of Kaiju players in here with Keith Hernandez and Jerry Harrison. We've got some of the future stars uh, people in here as well. <clears throat> with Zach Neto and Sal Fraley and guys like that. We also got some of the captains mixed in with Tim Anderson. We've got a bunch of them in the uh, pitching rotation as well. So every one of these guys, you're going to need PXP stuff done for as well. Or if it's not PXP, it's, you know, usually three saves for closers, nine innings pitch or 12 innings pitch, something like that for starters, strikeouts for some of them here. So we got Robertson, Britton, Eckersley, Bednar, all these guys are stuff we need missions done with. So load your teams up with these and then grind out all the conquests. Once you're done with the conquest, what well, we're going to do different this one, I'm going to try out March to October. Now, I've never done March to October before, but I know you get a decent amount of team affinity points for it. I want to see how quick I can grind through one of those to see if it's really worth doing for each division. If not, we've always got the mini seasons method as well. So with the team affinity season two mini season, they kind of changed up the way the rewards work a little bit here. At the end of the last one in season one, you got 10 vouchers at the end of it once you completed it all. They changed it up a little bit in this one. For every five wins you get, you get a voucher here, but they took away some of the ones off the back end. So you're still getting, I'm pretty sure, the same amount of vouchers, if I'm not mistaken, 
I'm not sure how many you get here at the end now. It is, so you get one for playoff, you get two for, what is that, making the finals or win the semifinals, and you get three more if you become the champion. So yeah, it's gonna equal out to about the same thing here. I think the only reason they made this change, and I'm not sure if the issue got fixed or not, but with the issue last season where people's seasons were getting lost, you could you had to completely restart it. I think this is kind of an incentive to still do it if that issue is still in the game, at least this way. Say you win five games and it locks up, at least you got one voucher out of it. So we're really gonna use the mini seasons to finish off the PXP missions and stuff like that for the players, as well as getting the vouchers and hopefully getting Team Affinity Season 2 done within two weeks. I'm not gonna go as hard on it as I did last time, because I'm pretty sure I spent about five straight days just grinding the shit out of it. I'm gonna go a little easier this time, just so we can get some more ranked seasons in. I, like I said, I didn't want, I don't wanna get too far behind on ranked season this time around. I wanna make sure we have a shot at World Series before it's all said and done. So we'll go a little bit slower on the Team Affinity grind, but we will get there hopefully within about two weeks time. So now for the fun part, it is time to lock in these collections. We are gonna finish off the NL here today, getting the Braves done here. We, like I said, we, we've only finished, I think two teams going into this. So it's been a very slow grind getting to this point, but we are there, wait, hang on. We're not there. Are we there? Are we 35 stubs ain't gonna hold us back from this one. All right, let's get the, let's get the uh, get the Marlins done here. All right, boom, another one down. Phillies are done. Nationals are done. The Brew Crew. Apparently, we're missing somebody for the Diamondbacks as well. Dre Jameson. Hang on, sir. We're just gonna make this purchase. Get this over with. 59 stubs. So that leaves us one team: the New York Mets. And man, let me tell you. Buying that Edwin kind of broke my heart. I cannot believe we sold him early in the year. I really thought they would take him out of that collection, being out for the season. But unfortunately, that was not the case, and he was a lot more expensive buying him the second time than what it was what we sold him for. So he's in there now. We did wait on Scherzer to come down a little bit. We ended up getting him, but the Mets are now officially done, which means all of the NL teams are complete. It is officially time. Sammy Sosa is in the lineup. I've been waiting all year to get this card in there. Oh, the 120, the 125 power to both sides. It is a thing of beauty. I don't know what his clutch rating is. Hopefully it's solid. But with Sammy Sosa obviously being a core card, this is a guy we are gonna keep in the lineup for a good chunk of the season. So that kind of locks down two of our outfield spots there. When you got Kyle Tucker on one side, you're gonna have Sam in the other one. Center field's the only thing we gotta really find a permanent situation for here. I know they did put out that freaking Mickey Mantle card and holy crap, does it look fantastic. That card has already been beating the hell out of me in the events. But for now, we are very, very much content with getting Sammy out here in the outfield for us. Which means the grind really, really begins and begins to get a lot more expensive for us here. Cause looking at the AL, we still need Aaron Judge. He is going for, I don't know what I just did. 162,000 by now. Damn. We still need Jacob DeGrom. 122,000 by now. Shohei Otani, 157. That one hurts. And then obviously, not the most expensive anymore. Is Judge, so Judge is more expensive than Trout now. Okay. Okay. That's actually, I, I haven't looked at the trout price in a while. I'm actually okay with that 151,000. It's still super expensive, but uh, yeah, we can make that happen. And I'm telling you, once we sell the Posada and the Roki cards, we're gonna be well on our way. We're gonna dip into the stub count pretty heavily to get this done, but we should be able to buy everything we need once we sell those two cards. So with the NL collection done, let's go open some packs and hopefully we can get lucky and get at least one of these big AL cards. I really don't wanna to have to buy all four of those cards because damn, that is expensive. So if we can get one of them offset this cost, it'll be fantastic. We don't have a ton of packs today, 32 shows, two ball -ins. We got 15 from the challenge of the week that I didn't even know I finished top 100 in. We also got, oh, I forgot about this. So we got our second set one collection. I just totally put this out of my mind here. And we had talked when we had talked about doing this in the C in season one, Pedro was the guy. I know a lot of people don't like his car. People say he kind of sucks, whatever, but he was gonna be our guy. I love Pedro. He is probably one of my top two or three favorite pictures of all time to watch. So if we don't take him, it's gonna kind of hurt my soul. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, it's gonna hurt my soul. But this Babe Ruth card looks absolutely insane. Now, obviously, we talked about it in the first part of the season. I am a Yankee hater notoriously. 
so taking the Babe Ruth card doesn't really jive with me. So we'll revisit that pack when we get there. I don't know who we're gonna take, to be all the way honest with you. We've got a couple of diamond duos here. We've also got an alter ego pack here. Now, we talked about in the last video, some of the set two pitchers that have come out. This 99 Clayton Kershaw, I want him. I really want him. Clayton Kershaw has always been a nuisance. His 99 card is always really, really good. Hopefully that's gonna be the same with this one here. We have not seen him yet online. I got a feeling we're gonna see a bunch of him as the season goes along. So hopefully we can get him and throw him in the rotation there. This Willie Mays card, unfortunately, doesn't look great. I mean, the contact, the power looks solid, but clutch at 84 on a 99 Willie Mays almost feels disrespectful. I'm not gonna lie. He is probably, I mean, he's easily a top 10, probably top five player of all time. And he doesn't even look like he's gonna be usable once you get the Hall of Fame difficulty. I just, for me, somebody who relies on a decent sized PCI, I just don't think we can pull it off of Willie Mays. So let's start ripping some packs. Let's see if we can get some luck today. I would really, really, really love to get one of the big AL cards. That's, that's for me, that's that's all I want right now. I don't want to see anything else. Everything else is just kind of kind of fodder at this point. But we need one, one of the big four. Now we're not going to hold our breath because we know better than that on this channel. But the off chance that the show gods are looking down on us today and feel like blessing somebody, I would like to be that individual. Bless away, please. Sad part is, I kind of wish I'd have done this before I went through and bought all the bronze and commons and silvers that we didn't have for the NL. I think I bought like 40 cards today because there were just so many of the, the cheap guys we didn't have. But I was like, damn it, I was tired of waiting. So we went and did it. Come on now. Can I get one diamond in this though? Just, I mean, just one diamond in the show packs. We start out, we always start out so greedy and then we get humbled really, really fast. It looks like the humbling is about to continue here today. 10 more to go. Nothing. Nine more. We're gonna get hoed on the diamonds all together. I really thought, like I was really in the, like, the back of my head. I was like, this is gonna be the banger episode. Please God be blue. Please God be blue. I haven't seen a blue diamond and I can't tell you how long. Game be good to me. It is purple. It is not good. It could have at least been Kyle Tucker. That's the one Astros diamond we don't have right now. So we got Jose Altuve again. That's another 4,800 stubs. Jesus. Final five show packs here, baby. Come on now. One more. One more. Be kind. Be gentle. Be sweet. Arrest my packs, please. Not looking fantastic. Last show pack. Come on, baby. Anything is okay. It's not happening. All right. We got two ballins. We know how we feel about the ballins. We know how we feel. Francisco. Come on. I hate the ballin packs. I passionately, passionately hate the ballin packs. All right, challenge packs. These have the same exact odds as the show pack, so nothing terrific. Let's see if we can get anything here. Honestly, I totally forgot about I forgot I even did the challenge of the week. I don't even know which. I think it was the... Uh, Vladdy one that we were decently high up for a while. I figured sure shit we were going to finish outside the top 100. I was just using it for batting practice. So if you want some, uh, you want some packs, go knock out some challenge of the week. See if you finish top 100. Really not that difficult. Except for the Joey Vada one. That lefty lefty shit was, that was not fun. I don't really have high hopes for 15 packs getting a diamond, but we're getting a lot of gold on the left. I didn't even look at what any of these are yet. This is all, okay, I, maybe that's guaranteed. I'm assuming it's guaranteed over there. Cause we've been pretty sure we've had a gold in this spot every time. Yeah, we have. Salfie Perez, final challenge of the week pack. And it's a bronze. All right, let's pop this pennant race one. I, well, I don't even know who's, what's in this, what this is. Okay, okay. Oh, no, we about prematurely did it. Okay, so these are the cards we need to do. You know what? We said we've been struggling to second base. God, this power is awful. Oh. Oh, so I've got some history with Bill Mazeroski. I think it was MLB 19. I want to say it was MLB The Show 19. That was my first time ever playing Diamond Dynasty. And he was the only, um, oh God, what was, what was the packs called before they were called Diamond Duos? I don't forget what they called. He was the only one of those guys that I had gotten in the pack the entire season. So we grinded the shit out of him. He was awful. And I'll be honest, this card still looks awful. So we're going to take Brooks Raley. All right, Diamond Duos. Pack 11, that's the Sutton McCovey one here. 
We've still not pulled. We did it. Did we do it? Is this? We didn't do it. I thought we did it. I'm taking Corbin Carroll. Damn it. I, I thought we did it. All right. This one right here is the one that we bought. This is the 40K pack out of the shop. We spent some stubs because I really, really wanted to try to get this Bryce Harper. So we're going to pop this one and hope and pray that we can get Bryce Harper. Can we do it? I don't feel like this is good. I don't know if this means anything. It doesn't mean anything. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Oh, 40K for a gold. To be honest, I think that kind of hurts the soul a little bit. All right, alter ego pack. We want the Kershaw. That is the only card. You know what? The Mitch Garver card would actually be kind of nice to catch her. I wouldn't be against this at all. So yeah, we would take Garver if we got the base round, but I really want this Kershaw. Let's go, baby. Give me a rare round. It's been pretty good to us this year. Can we continue that trend? Come on, come on. We cannot. Damn, that is unfortunate. Okay. So, Mitch Garver. Chris Taylor's actually the most expensive one here. That's kind of surprising. All right, I want to take Mitch Garver. Hitting stats look actually pretty solid on this car. What's his clutch? 83, damn. Oh. Oh, Mitch. Oh, I'm going to be honest. I'm not really... I'm not really thrilled with what, what just happened. I really hope I was really hoping the Garver card was going to be better than what it is, but it's not. So Mitch Garver, we're taking you anyway. Set one collection, the final pack. What do we got here? We're doing it. We're taking Pedro. I don't care. We're taking Pedro. I know Babe Ruth is phenomenal. I know, and I'm probably going to regret not taking him, but I have a lot of regrets as is. So we're going to do it anyway. Why the hell not? Pedro, welcome to the squad. He's a no sell anyway, so we're stuck with him. Please don't suck because we're going to sell Roki and we're going to throw Pedro and hopefully, hopefully I can do something with this card. So unfortunately, the packs didn't hit, but hey, at least we got Sammy. 